Hey, man, Kanye West is literally teaching us the difference between stems and track outs with the stem player. And y'all still just don't get it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the differences between stems and track outs and how you can actually send track outs from a Studio One session. Now, first, let me break down what's the difference. The stem player, I use this as a reference to talk about the difference between stems and track outs because literally this is a stem player. If you know how this thing works, I'll tell you. If you don't, just in case you might not be hip to five, you know what I'm talking about? Basically, it's got like four little touch faders on here, right? And one, each one of these can turn up or down the drums. One of them can turn the vocals up and down. One of them can turn up the uh, music, like the pianos and synthesizers and stuff. And the other is for the bass line on most of the songs that Kanye put on this stem player. Those are stems. Stems are when you have groupings of multiple tracks. So I have groupings of drums. I have groupings of vocals. And most of the time, these are going to be bounced down or printed down or mixed down to a stereo track so i'm gonna mix down all of my vocals to a stereo track mix down all of my drums to a stereo track mix down all of my um uh, uh, keyboards and synthesizers to a stereo track and maybe some bass line to a stereo track and once i have all of those four or five or whatever how many stems you want to create for your mix then that's called stem mixing right to so where you take raise all the drums Raise all the vocals, bring all the vocals down, bring all the keys up or down. Track outs is when you have the individual elements of the song. So that means a special uh, individual track for the kick, an individual track for the snare, an individual track for the main vocal, for the background vocal, for the lead vocal, for that little ad lib, for the piano, for the guitar, for the bass line. Every single element has their own track when you are talking about tracking out. When it comes to mixing, I don't want to mix stems. Mixing stems is cool on a stem player for consumers. But when you talk about a professional mix, I want to mix full track outs. Let's go over to Studio One to show how you can export track outs to be used with any DAW. So if I'm going to mix it in Pro Tools, maybe I'm not working in Studio One. Maybe I'm mixing in Pro Tools. Maybe you mixing in Logic. But you got this Studio One session that you want to bring over to another DAW. We need to know how to properly export those track outs. Let's go and check it out. So here I am in my Studio One session, okay? Studio One makes this pretty easy. One of the main things that we do need to uh, consider is that when you are exporting your track outs, none of the insert effects processors are going to be uh, printed down into that uh, final, right? So that's cool. That's one thing that we need to know. We just, we just getting those audio files. Another thing that we want to make sure that we do before we start doing this process is that we want to actually make a selection from the top to the bottom of our song. Now you can do this, let me uh, back this out again. All right, you can, you can do this with a, a loop. Let me actually turn on my loop, get that loop active, and run that loop to loop, from loop in to loop in. Now, and that's gonna be the range for the song. So I'm telling Studio One where to start the export and where to end the export. Once I had that, Definitely make sure also that you got the tracks named because the new files are going to be referring to the name on the tracks that you actually export them from. OK, so that's also important. You don't want a bunch of tracks just named track one, track two, track three. OK, now that I got that simple stuff done, I'm going to go up to the song menu and I'm going to hit export stems. Even though I just told y'all that we export and track out. So my, I got a beef with Studio One now. I got a whole beef with Studio One because they teaching y'all wrong. We ain't about to export no stems. We are exporting track outs. And so that's why y'all keep calling the track out stems and the stems track outs. Okay. So now you got your sources. You can choose whether you want to do the channels. Now, if you do channels, you can choose any channels, including the reverb, delay channels, all your aux effects channels as well. But in this case, I just want the tracks, all right? And you see that the record track is empty, so it's unchecked. If it ain't got no clips on it, there's no audio on there, there's no reason for me to uh, track that out. So you go over to the sources, you choose the tracks, and you choose the tracks that actually 
that you need. They will automatically choose them by default. But if you got tracks, I'm using a Wavy Wayne template here that has a record track. We don't keep any audio on that track. We move it off to another track. So once you have your sources selected, you choose a location. You say, you know what? I want you to save this here. Let's go save it to the desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this Wavy Song to Mix. Open. Okay, that's where they're going to save these track outs. I can say well, whatever name I want. So um, we can just call it Song Publishing. Do not publish. Do not publish. Format, I like to keep the format of my track outs the same as whatever I recorded, which will be 2448. The export range, this is why I told y'all to set a loop, right? So we set that loop. And so between the loop is my export. The duration right now is telling me it's gonna be three minutes and 24 seconds. Now I like this option here, preserve mono tracks. Some other dolls when you export, I ain't gonna name them right now. Some other dolls though, when you export, they make everything FL, <clears throat> they make everything stereo, regardless of whether it's mono or not FL, <laughs> okay? So I wanna preserve the mono tracks. If you wanna write the tempo, you can. Use real-time processing, that means it's just gonna take longer. It's gonna take that full three minutes and 24 seconds. Probably for each track, I don't know, cause I, don't, I ain't never did it in real time, it ain't, ain't no point to. Once you have that set, you hit okay. And everything is going to start to be processed, okay? It's exporting 4.2 faster, 4.2 times faster than real time, all right? So it's going to take us about a minute to get that done. While that's doing that, I'm going to go over here and look on my desktop. Look at my wavy song. You can see that these files are being created. Here's the beat song. So we got our prefix, our preface to the, um, to the files, right? And again, I told you I was going off of the what? The track's name, not the clip name. It's going off the track name. So the song, beat, right? Once we get to my next file, it's taking a little minute. It's taking a little minute. Ex uh, uh, exporting time remaining. You know what? I'm going to let y'all come back because it's still exporting that beat file. It's doing that one time on the file. Okay, cool. And then we got a uh, song, verse, lead. What the hell? Where all my files go? All right, bet y'all. So now you see that inside of my song folder, I have a track, an individual track for every file that was in my session, for every track, and they're following the same name, okay? Super easy, super simple. Now I can take this folder, zip it up, I can send it off to another engineer to work on, to mix in their DAW of choice, no matter whether they're using Studio One, Pro Tools, Logic, FL Studio, it doesn't matter. They're, all they have to do is import these files in and they will line up perfectly because they're the whole file length of the song, man. There's a huge disconnect right now with the online learning community. And that, and the fact that I even said community, it ain't no community for real online. We get online, y'all jump in the chat, and that's, that'd be pretty much it. The community is happening in the Wavy Seals Elite. And the community is so important to actually help guide you from where you are to where you need to be to be successful as an engineer, okay? You need a guide. And I'm Wavy Wayne, I'm here to guide you, okay? The Wavy Seals Elite offers networking, offers exclusive opportunities for you to learn directly from some of the biggest people in the industry. Some of the biggest engineers, some of the biggest producers in the industry are giving up secrets to the Wavy Seals Elite. Text me right now if you wanna stop guessing. If you want to be the best engineer in your city, in your state, if you wanna be the best engineer that you can be, Text 314-400-2880 and say, I want to join the Wavy Seals Elite. I'm ready to take my career to the next level. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com. Thanks for watching this video. Be dope.